Alright, what's up guys? So, I haven't posted in a very long time. It's probably been like almost two weeks. Um, the reasoning for that is I got switched to night shift. And I really just haven't felt like doing anything. And I haven't really had anything to do. So, I think my last video is when I got the golf cart. And we were down at the All-American Youth Horse Show. And me and all my buddies were just riding the thing around for however long every day. And if you know about gas golf carts, they get really great gas mileage. We went through a whole tank of gas, so it's a lot of driving around. Well, when we first got there the first day, I noticed like a little a little creaking noise coming from this back side. And I didn't really think anything of it. I thought it was just because of all the weight on it. Uh, but it turned out, <laughs> going on the third day, the tire fell off. And I'll put a picture in of what happened but come down here come down here pretty much uh somebody put the lug nuts on backwards you know the taper end supposed to go down towards the wheel well the flat end was and you can see all down in here all the holes are kind of jacked up a little bit but we're gonna make do because eventually here I'm gonna be uh putting a lift kit on it so, I, uh, I had to put new wheel studs in that little drum. It's very similar to a vehicle. So, straightforward. Just press some new wheel studs in and throw the tire back on. It should be good. Now we're going to be doing an oil change on the Duramax. It's been probably, uh, I don't know, I'll tell you. I wrote it on the oil filter under there. I'll tell you when I get it off what it's been. But, <laughs> what the heck are you doing? <laughs> Starts to rain and she thinks she's going to drown or something. So, it's sprinkling. Uh, it's been doing this for the past couple days, whatnot. But, can't really help it. So we're going to go along with this anyways. So, the stuff that I use is I use a AT, AC Delco filter, which is GM. Uh, I mean, if they put it at the factory, why shouldn't I keep using it, right? So that's kind of the reasoning behind that. And also, um, if you actually look up the specs on this filter, um, it's actually a lot bigger than the other filters that you can get for these trucks. So that is why I run that. And then... I run the Shell Rotella T5. Uh, it's a synthetic blend. Um, on these older diesels, you're not really supposed to run full synthetics. But it's a uh, 1540. And the reason I run a 1540 is it's a little bit lighter weight. Uh, and we live in Ohio here, so during the winters, it makes starts a little easier. It's not as thick. Um, and I've always run the Rotella. I ran it in my old Ford. And if you don't know, it takes two and a half gallons for these Duramaxes. So, and this happened to be my off oil change, so I had to grab a third full gallon. But so we'll get started here, and we'll catch up with you in a minute. All right. So the tools that you're gonna need. Um, Something, some sort of 15 millimeter wrench. I got a ratchet, right? The wrench will work. Don't use crescent wrenches or stuff like that because you got the, uh, you can round out the drain plug and then you run into all sorts of other issues. So, got that. And then most of the time, you'd use a oil filter wrench or some sort of chain wrench or something along those lines that you can strap around it. But stupid me forgot mine at my house. So we're going to use a pair of channel locks. That should work. So the first thing that we're going to do, I'm just going to kind of go over an oil change on this. Uh, loosen the cap. I just leave it sit in there, kind of loose like that. 
Helps the oil flow out a little better. Next, we are gonna need this here guy. You don't even wanna know. That's all I'm gonna say about that. And then we're gonna come down here and oil drain plug right there. We're gonna make sure this is in the reversing direction. Make sure our oil catch pan is under there. Just gonna. Ugh. Did I grab the wrong one? Damn it. Kenzie, what did I just do? I don't know. Oh. I lied to you guys, that's what I did. I uh, I told you guys a 15 millimeter. That's what I thought it was. But it's a 16. So, my mistake. You guys will see all that in its fine glory of me trying to force it on that drain plug. Alright, but back to what we were doing. It should not be that tight. Just an FYI. All right, well after having to put a freaking cheater pipe on it, I finally got the damn thing broke loose and they should never, ever, ever, ever be that tight. So I have no idea what the hell happened there. But, so there's a, I'm gonna try and record this at the same time. Really no clean way to do this. I usually try and keep pressure on it so it doesn't leak out all over the place or your plug doesn't fall in and eh, should be good let her rip here we go next oil filter like I said I forgot my wrench so you can see I've been gripping on that already so take that off all right so oh, oil filter out made a mess here's that all the oil Drain plug still out. It's still dripping out a little bit, but I'm gonna go ahead and put the uh, other oil filter back in, throw the drain plug back in, clean up down here, and then we'll head to the top side. All right, so on these Duramaxes, these older ones, I don't know about the newer ones because I don't have a newer one. Well, it's newer, but not. This is a st this is pretty much, hey, loose! So the dog is taking her daily trip to the mailman. But um, what was I getting at? Something about new or older, but at least on these older ones like LB7 through the LMMs, um, they have what's called, I, people call it the typewriter. Um, it like, when you do a fresh oil change, if there's not enough oil in the filter, it ticks or something or another. I've never had it happen to me personally. Um, so if you're having that issue, what I do is I do, I fill the oil filter just a little bit, not a lot, because it does, it sits at an angle like that under the truck. So I fill it up just a little bit. Not a lot, just a little bit. And then, you know, typical lube and the O-ring. So that's what I do when I put a new filter on. All right, so we're up top here again. I already got a gallon dumped in her. Uh, just letting it drain out. And another cool thing about Shell um, and the Rotella lines um, is they have what's called My Miles Matter. And uh, on the bottom of each cap, there's this code, which if you're going to try and use this, it's already going to be put in, so it's not going to work. But <laughs> um, it's a code, and for every, uh, I forget what it is, but you get free stuff. You can pick from like gift cards or free oil and just stuff like that. So it's pretty cool. It's a little extra bonus. Another thing with Shell is they always have mail-in rebates. So um, like right now they're running a $5 mail-in rebate, which is pretty nice. Don't mind the hair. But all right, so we're in the truck here. Um, I haven't started it yet. So uh, if it does the typewriter -y thingy, I'll show you guys. Like I said, it hasn't done it to me before with what I've done, but this is only my 
fourth oil change since I've owned the truck. So, <clears throat> yeah, so let's start it. It's not raining anymore. Nothing. So, work just like it should. Let it run here for a minute, and then we'll check the oil level. All right, so uh, we just ran it for a little bit, as you saw. Let it shut it off, let it settle for a minute and give it a wipe throw her back in biggest pet peeve with these new freaking dipsticks is they're like steel braided line so they're not the funnest oh where are we at that looks pretty full to me we'll check it one more time here Son of a... Uh, looks like we're maybe uh, half a quart low. So we will add. Alright. So we just... Uh, I just topped it off and it was half quart low, filled her up, so now we're good. I guess it was not as loud. Another good thing to check every time you change your oil is blow by. And uh, for those of you who don't know what that is, I'll show you. Well, I won't show you because I don't have any, but I'll show you what it would be. Alright, so what blow by is, is it's a. Uh, it's pretty much just like an oil mist that comes out of your oil fill cap. And you can see I don't have any. But, uh, but if you do have blow by, it's a uh, pretty good indication that either you got a cracked piston, uh, rings are going bad, something along those lines where oil's getting past the, uh, the piston. So I think that's going to do it for this video. I got some more maintenance stuff. I'll probably do that tomorrow in another video. Uh, it's fuel filter wise. I still got a video coming out on reviewing my airbags that I put in from a long time ago. I got it like made. I just got to throw it together and get it up. Uh, like I said, I've been busy. And this weekend there's uh, some tractor pulls at the local fairgrounds that we're going to be heading out to. And a horse show. Yay. But um, yeah, so there's going to be some pulls. I'll get some videos of that. I'm actually going to be pulling my truck for the first time ever. So... We'll see how that goes. Probably pretty interesting. Hopefully we don't break much or anything at all for that matter. We're getting a look from the girlfriend right now. <laughs> but yeah, so uh, should be a good time. Hey, would you be quiet? I'm trying, let her go over there. I'm trying to outro. Anyways, stopping in for the first time, please subscribe. Like as always, if you liked the video, thanks for watching.